Keeping your system free of threats is just half of the Norton 360 story. I guess you could say we have another 180 to go. Now the other half is the system maintenance and data security story. Now, if you install Norton 360 and take advantage of all the built-in tools, your data should always be safe, your system secure, and it should even run better. So let's take a look at the rest of the tools, starting with Backup and Restore, which is actually based on Norton's Ghost technology. Ghost technology is built around disk imaging and disk copying, so it's very powerful as far as a backup service is concerned. Now when we go in, we can change the backup settings, which will show us all of the different tools that we have at our disposal. A quick backup is the simplest way to back up all of your key data. This is an automated system that will choose exactly what files are most important to you and make sure that they're made safe and secure. So the folks at Symantec believe that your pictures, your financial files, documents, contacts, music, video, and email, and internet favorite are the files that you're most going to want to back up. If you want to back up more files than that, you can go into full backup and find other data types on your drive. Now, you have to come up with a good backup strategy yourself. And everybody's is going to be slightly different. It depends what Im information on your computer is most important to you. And it also depends how proactive you want to be, how much you want to be involved in the process. Norton 360 will allow you to set up automatic backup so that everything is backed up automatically and you never have to worry about it on a regular schedule. Or you can go in and manually back up data yourself when you think it's important. Now, I personally probably wouldn't rely on Norton 360 to back up my pictures because I would like to do that myself when I'm in my image editing software and come up with a strategy of backing up my photos on a regular basis as I'm maintaining my photo library because my pictures, as far as I'm concerned, is the most important data that I have on my computers. Now, as we go through this process, we also have to determine exactly what the best backup location is, what we want to use to back our data up onto. And if we go here into our backup location, we can see that we can back up onto basically anything that's attached to our PC, any of the internal hard drives, backing up onto DVD, or, and this is the most compelling part of the backup story, backing up onto secure online storage. Included in your Norton 360 account is two gigabytes of secure online storage. And that gives us some really interesting options. First of all, it's great because it's backing the data up off-site. So if something disastrous happens to your computer, a fire or it's stolen, something like that, you still have all of this data off-site stored on the internet. But with two gigabytes, you've got to be careful about what you decide to back up. You might not want to back up your pictures. You can see here, it tells me how large each of the files that I have to back up from this particular PC. And even though I've only got a fraction of my photos on, I've almost got a gigabyte worth of photos. But things like my documents take up a lot less space, my contacts, my emails. So for a business person, this online backup is a really great idea. And then you schedule how often it happens, and it's going to happen in the background when you're not using the computer. Now, if two gigabytes of storage isn't enough for you, and it might not be if you use this as a business tool, you can go into your account and you can choose to buy more storage. By buying more storage, that gives you that much more data that you can back up, and it becomes a really nice business solution as well as a personal solution for backing up key data. The last thing I want to talk about is PC tune-up. PC tune-up basically is disk optimization, keeping our disk running fast. It'll do things like optimize our disk and make sure that it's defragmented so that it runs nice and fast. And that's very important when we're doing video applications and that kind of stuff. But it'll also clean up all of that clutter, the files that we download on the internet when we visit every website, the, f the images from that website, and the temporary files. It cleans up all of that information off of our hard drive so that our drive isn't cluttered up. So let's look at it. What does Norton 360 do? Well, I'm sure it actually probably does about 360 things. But the main features that I want you to be aware of are, first of all, it connects us securely to wireless networks and hotspots regardless of where we are. It blocks hackers from accessing our computer. It prevents unknown threats from entering our PC. It checks both incoming and outgoing email and instant messaging for viruses. Blocks internet worms at the point of entry. It allows you to surf the web and play games online without worrying. It stops spyware from tracking you online or hijacking your computer. It'll enable you to bank, shop, and invest online with confidence. It inspects websites to make sure that they're not fakes. And it'll fix problems that slow your computer down and it removes unwanted internet clutter and temporary files. And it also, most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, is guarding against online identity theft. It removes threats from photos, music, software downloads. It protects valuable files from computer disasters. And it restores damaged or deleted files and folders. <sighs> That's a mouthful. We have all of our security tasks and tools in one elegant package. With Norton 360, we have come full circle.